Hey guys, welcome to World of Tanks with Hachiman. <clears throat> Here I'm bringing you a replay in my T-54E1. It's a tier 9 battle on um, Hidden Village. 42% chance to win according to uh, XVM. Now, this is not by any means my most epic battle in this game. In this tank, rather. Um, but it was a pretty good one. I did some pretty decent damage. But that's not what I want to show you. What I want to show you is how a lower tier tank was willing to take damage to protect me. And here it comes. As usual in the mediums, I uh, we uh, head over here. I always, I'll be honest, I always come over here and fight up in the pass up here with medium tanks. Especially when I'm top tier. Uh, I'm very comfortable with the capabilities of my vehicles, uh, and I know this ground pretty well. I come up and I swing through, taking a look over to the right, spot a Panther two just in time, and I zip up in. Now, as a side note, I knew the Panther II wouldn't be alone, and I was right. There's a T-54. But keep in mind one thing. I'm not afraid of either of these tanks. I've fought many T-54s in my T-54E1 and in my M46 Patton. I am extremely comfortable with the statistics and the capabilities of the T-54, and the Panther II does not frighten me at all, outside of the fact that it has a lot of hit points for a Tier Eight medium tank. Um, so I move up in, T-54 bounces, I put a good shot in on him before he runs away. And then I go ahead and turn the corner. There's the Panther, he's trying to side scrape, but he's got way too much angle there. I take a hit from him, put one, two, miss my third shot, hit the T-69 behind him, who tracks me, and I back up while I'm reloading. Now this has to be a frustrating moment for the enemy team, because that T-54E1, me, is right in front of them, and he can't, they can't do anything, because they can't turn the corner without exposing themselves to fire from the t Super Pershing, the STA-1, and there's a T-32 coming. Super Pershing tracks the T-54, I'm now loaded, oh, T-54 comes out, I turn the corner, one... Two, oh, bounce. Instead, I aim at the Panther 2 and kill him. I take a premium round from the Panther 2. Now, watch this. I am reloading, and I am tracked. There is nothing I can do at this exact moment in time. The Super Pershing realizes that, and he wedges himself right in front of me with his frontal armor facing the T-54, allowing me to survive... To back up and finish reloading. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know who this guy is. Legionnaire something or other. I've never played with him in my life. And yet. He throws himself in front of me. Against a superior tank. So that I can come back to do more damage. Now here I'm loaded. I'm going to rush this T-54. I wait till he shoots. And I continue charging. One. And. Two. Like I said, I'm very familiar with the T-54 and what it's capable of, and I, I knew that he would not be able to get a shot into me. And even if he did, RNG might happen, he might bounce, uh, might get a low damage roll, something. So now I want to be a little bit patient. And to be honest, this, um, this replay doesn't continue much further than this point here um, where I'm concerned. Um... I've done 2,600 damage. I've had, I've killed the two tanks that we ran up against. There's the T-69. He abandoned his team and ran away up in the pass. So I look over this way, trying to see if I can get a shot in. There's the SU. Oh, missed that shot. He's behind the building from my perspective. Can't quite get on him. Okay, there's another shot. Good damage roll, 435. And the T-69 charges are super purging. Unfortunately, I can't repay the favor of helping him because I'm reloading. But he puts his licks in. Give him some credit. He does some damage. 
there's another one, and then the T-69 finishes him. But, you know, to his credit, he put a couple good shots into an auto-loading Tier 8 medium tank. I'm spotted. I don't like the fact I'm spotted. I'm still loading. And the enemy T-54E1, who is somewhere in Foxtrot 7, kills me. Um, and like I said, that's it where I'm concerned. Uh, 3,087 damage, 2 kills. I led the charge over in that spot uh, to to really push the the enemy out and put them on the defenses uh, defensive. Our team continues to one by one take them out. Um, they never get closer to where than where they are right here, two or three kills behind. Um, but I I wanted to show you that. I thought it was just a fantastic display of teamwork. I was really thrilled with what he did uh, there to make sure I stayed alive so that I could continue to do more damage. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please post your comments below, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Uh, it would really help uh, the channel out. Thanks so much, guys. Bye now.